I can draw the sun with the stars and the moon. I can draw anything. How about you? Ready, set, draw! Hi, I'm Mary Jane Begin, author and illustrator of Ping Meets Pang. And I want to play the Scribble game with you today. And you're probably thinking, what is the Scribble game? It's really just a game where you start with a scribble, you use your imagination, and you come up with a picture. And the reason why I like to play it is because it's something that I do with my own work. I start with really scribbly sketches and then turn them into more finished sketches and then make the paintings that land in a book like Ping Meets Pang. So you're probably thinking, well, what do I need to play the scribble game? Usually you need like simple tools. It really could be anything, but here are some examples. You could use a pen. You could use a marker. You could use a pencil if you want to erase. You could also use a colored pencil. Any of those tools, even a crayon will work. You also need to have paper, very important. So you could have like a little piece of paper, like this, eight and a half by 11, that's pretty small and you can find that around the house. Or you could use a really big piece of paper, like this. This is 18 by 24, that's what I'll use. I like to have a lot of room when I'm making a picture. I like to have plenty of space to let my imagination just go wild. So. I'd like to play the scribble game with you, and you can see we're in my studio here. Uh, so let's just get started. So before we get started with the scribble game, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about that thing I said, which is I do sketches really scribbly at first. You can see this is Panda Palace, and I, I really, I started actually way up here with a little tiny rough sketch of what Panda Palace could look like. Then I did a a little bit cleaner version, but it's still, you know, it's pretty messy. I'm, I'm trying to scribble things out and figure out where I want to go with this. And once I do figure that out, then I take it to the next level and I, I take the sketch and I blow it up and I put it on just a, like I copy it onto a piece of paper with a copy machine. And then I take this copy of my rough sketch and I put it underneath a piece of what's called trace paper. You can see, you can see right through this paper. It's called trace paper. I put it right underneath and then I trace it and then I get my finished sketch, which is what this is. And it's finished meaning that the, the lines are really tight so when I go to paint, it's real clear where I have to draw and paint things. And then I take that sketch and I redraw it on a piece of watercolor paper. And you can see this is the finished painting, see if I can get it in there. And that is actually one of the scenes, the very first scene in Ping Meets Pang. Welcome to Panda Palace. So now you see a little bit about my process. But what I want to do with you right now is play the scribble game. So we start with a white sheet of paper because you need a lot of space to do what you want to do. Now we do a scribble. Now you might say, well, does it have to look like anything? Well, no, it's a scribble. It can look like anything. It's just, you're just doing something like that. I'll show you. I'll do a scribble right now to show you how a scribble looks. A scribble is just, or maybe it's that. Maybe it's this. Or maybe it's this. It doesn't matter. A scribble is a scribble. So when you start with a scribble, you then start to really look at it. And this is a tool I did not mention before, but it's super important. You have to use your imagination. If you don't have that tool, this is not gonna be easy to do. Pull out that imagination, dust it off, and use it for the scribble game. So let's put this scribble aside. And we'll put these sample scribbles, that's all these are, I just was testing. And then I did this one. And I was like, oh, there's a lot there. I like that one. I think I'll start with that one. So here you see the scribble that I did, and it's a little more complex than the others. So look at it. Give yourself a minute or two. What does it look like? What do you see there? Before I tell you what I see, I want you just to look and then just, yeah, say it out loud. Tell me what you see. 
Okay, you've had a chance to think about it. I'm going to tell you what I see. I, I, I see kind of a lion's face. Maybe an eyeball and a nose, a mouth. I see, it looks like a mane, like a lion's mane all the way around. That's a kind of a cool one. I might be able to draw that. Or maybe then I also see a funny little creature's head right here. That's its mouth and that's its eyeball. I don't know what that is, but kind of a strange little creature. So you don't just look at scruples one way. You try it another way. I'm gonna turn it this way and see what I can see. There, can you see that? So that is another scribble. Well, hmm, I tend to see creatures. I wonder what you see. I'll give you a minute. Are you thinking? Using your imagination? Okay, I'll tell you what I see. And say it out loud. Say it right out loud, what you see. No wrong answers. What I'm seeing is I see two eyes. I see a little nose there. I see kind of a, looks like hair or something. It looks like a, a funny creature. I don't know what it is. This almost looks like its arm reaching out. I don't know. Okay, so we could turn it one more way. Let's turn it this way. What do you see? I see a dog in the middle here. Then there's some funny shapes on the side. Maybe that's like a mouth right there. That looks like a big creature Arr, with its mouth wide open and it's got a funny little eye right there. You see a six right there and a bird way up there. Lots to see in the scribble game. Well then once you start to see things, you pick what you want to draw. Which one's most fun to you? So I'm gonna turn it around. Let's start with, let's see. Oh, there's some other stuff. Oh my gosh, we could do this all day. But I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna turn it to the very first thing that we looked at. And I'm actually gonna use a piece of tracing paper just so we can see where we started. Because if I don't use tracing paper, we won't be able to see you know, the very starting point of our picture. And here, I'm going to tape it down so that this picture, this tracing paper, you see it's tracing paper, there's, there's actually, you can't really see it on the screen, but there, that's the tracing paper. And I'm gonna draw right on top of this so I can do a couple different things. So let's see, I see, I see this lion head here. This is like the nose right here. And then I see like the mouth right there. It's a lion eye. And I see it. I imagine it's looking at you. A cat's eye. Maybe it's a little bigger. Maybe it has a little fluff of an eyebrow. Like this. And there'd be another eye over here. You wouldn't see too much of that. And then, oh, maybe I'll make it bigger. Make it really looking at us. Looking kind of at the corner of its eye. I see right over here this is like the lion's mane right here now I'm just using what's from the scribble as a kind of a guideline because you know it's my drawing I can do whatever I want with it just like it'll be your drawing and you can do whatever you want I know they have little ears up here all kind of an ear all right and here's its lion's mane it's very lush that's how I see it Kind of following the scribble, but not exactly. See? So I have a lion there. And I just started with the scribble. And you can still see the scribble underneath. Come here, let me lift it up. There's the scribble. There's the lion. So let's try another one. You can do this too. You can try and turn your drawing around a few different ways. Or you can finish it and add color and things like that. It doesn't matter. Scribble games for fun. So let's see. I think it was this way. We saw something else going on there. It was like a funny... I don't know what this thing is. I really have no idea. But let's figure it out. Maybe, maybe you all can help me figure out what we're looking at. I'll choose another piece of tracing paper. I'll 
put that right on top of our creature here. So I don't know what this is, but let's figure it out. Maybe this one's also looking at us. I just keep seeing that as an eye. And I see this one as an eye too. Maybe part of it's an eyelid. And that's its pupil. Whatever this creature is, it wants to come to life and it wants our help to get here. That's kind of how I see it when I think about characters and drawing. And then I see this kind of funny little nose shape right here. You see it? Little nose shape right there. Then this is its hair right here, it's on top of the head maybe. I don't know. It's got a funny little hairdo. What is this creature? I almost don't think it's like anything from, from nature. Maybe it's an imaginary creature. That's what it could be. Oh, I like this shape right here. It's almost like, like part of its face might be one color and another part is another color, which is kind of cool. And it has sort of fluffy fur out here. Look at this, here we go. Now it's starting to take shape. I don't really know what it is. So what do you think? Should I, should I add some stuff to make it like a, a fantasy creature or a fairy tale? What would you add? What would make it not like a regular animal on Earth? I wonder what you're thinking. I'm gonna guess. I bet you some, somebody out there is thinking, how about a horn? How about horns? This is like a little horned creature. All right, there's one horn. Maybe here is another horn. There. And maybe it has, this is its paw. Right here, it's sort of reaching out. On this side, this little paw. And maybe, maybe it's reaching out on this side too with a paw. I don't know what it's holding, but it could be holding something. And maybe this is part of its body. Right here. Now what else would make it magical? Maybe would give it a little bit of eyebrows. Right here, and here. I wonder what else you could add to it to make it magical. Well, it does look a little bit like, kind of like a puppy looks. Would it have whiskers? What do you think, whiskers? Let's add whiskers. We'll add some whiskers, just because I think that'd be fun. Here we go. And maybe add some little more fluff to the hair. Maybe, hmm, what else could we do with this? Lots of possibilities. I wonder what, I wonder what this character is holding. I wonder, do you have any ideas? I wonder what you're thinking, maybe, maybe it's holding, I don't know. It could be holding some kind of a plant. In its hands, its paws I should say, not hands. Maybe it's holding something with a leaf leaf shape and maybe on the end of this leaf is a very tiny bug creature but this bug creature is not just a regular bug maybe it's part ladybug I don't know but I think it can talk I'm pretty sure it's having a conversation with this creature right here I think that they're buddies that's my guess they're having a little conversation. Now let's see what else we have. And maybe, maybe this creature lives in the forest on some kind of planet or some kind of fantasy place. I see these as being sort of leaf shapes. Maybe that's the costume. This character's wearing a leaf shirt. These are all little leaves. It'd be kind of fun. Right? There's the paw. Well, look how far we've come. I'm gonna add a little color to the nose. that part right there. That's from the scribble underneath. I can see it. So there, look at what we have. And well, it didn't even take that long to do that. We have the beginnings of a drawing. We have a character and another character. And I wonder what happens between them. 
I wonder if they're friends or maybe, maybe they're lost. Maybe they're trying to find each other or maybe they're trying to find something else. I don't know. I wonder if behind them would be a forest or maybe something else, maybe sky. I wonder what their names are. Maybe you could think of a name for this character. That would be really amazing if you could. So that's really the scribble game. We could do a lot of things with this. We could add color. We could add more fur. We could add other things to the picture. But for right now, I'll stop here and let you imagine. And then I'll finish it up and share with you later. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed the scribble game as much as I did. Let me show you the finished illustration. I spent a little more time working on the color and the details you can see there. I used color pencil, I used marker, and a little bit of pastel. Now think about this. We have this character and this character. We don't know their names or what happens next, maybe in another scene, or where they live, where their world is. Those are things that you could think about. When you consider it, we started with a scribble and turn it into storytelling. And that's what I do. I start with scribbles, and then that leads me to stories. So I hope that you keep playing the scribble game with your friends, with your family. You each can do a scribble and then trade and do drawings from there. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I also hope that you enjoy my new book, Ping Meets Pang, where I start with a sketch and end with a finished illustration, and it lands in a book like this. Thanks so much for joining me today.